गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस आई हैव एक्सप्लेन डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ होल नंबर्स टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन एक्सरसाइज 2.2 इन फर्स्ट टू क्वेश्चंस ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 2.2 द कम्यूटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ होल नंबर्स विल बी यूज्ड एक्सरसाइज 2.2 फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड द सम बाय सूटेबल रीअरेंजमेंट A eight hundred and thirty seven plus two hundred and eight plus three hundred and sixty three. In previous classes, we have learned about properties by commutative property. We can interchange the number, and by commutative property for addition, by interchanging the number, the value will not change. So here, the unit digit is seven, and unit digit of three hundred and sixty three is three. By adding seven plus three, we know it is ten. so it the calculation becomes more easier by interchanging the number so i put 837 plus 363 in bracket plus 208 therefore 837 plus 363 will add first because it is in bracket so the total is 1200 plus 208 now 1200 plus 208 is equal to 1400 8 question number b 1962 plus 453 plus 1538 plus 647 by commutative property we can interchange the number and in addition the value will not be changed so here 1962 and 1538 are four digit number so i put it in separate bracket plus 453 and 6 647 are three digit number i put it in separate by bracket to make the calculation easier therefore 1962 plus 1538 the total is 3500 plus for 453 plus 647 the total is 1100 therefore total is equal to 3500 plus 1100 is equal to 4600 question number 2 find the product by suitable rearrangement a 2 into 1768 into 50 in this we will rearrange the number and then do the multiplication we know 2 into 50 is 100 so i am rearranging the number 2 and 50 together 2 multiply by 50 then 1768 and we know 2 into 50 is 100 multiply by 1768 therefore answer is 1 lakh 76800 by rearranging the number the calculation becomes easier question number c 8 into 291 into 125 i rearranged the number 8 and 125 together 8 multiply by 125 it is 1000 multiply by 291 therefore 1000 multiply by 291 is Two lakh ninety one thousand. Question number D: six hundred and twenty five into two hundred and seventy nine into sixteen. So I rearranged the number sixteen and six hundred and twenty five together to make the calculation easier. Six hundred and twenty five multiplied by sixteen is ten thousand multiplied by two hundred and seventy nine. Therefore, answer is twenty seven lakh ninety thousand. Now question number F one twenty five multiply by forty multiply by eight multiply by twenty five. Here there are four numbers are there, so I rearrange two two numbers one twenty five and eight together and forty and twenty five together. We know twenty five multiply by four is hundred, therefore forty multiply by twenty five is thousand. So one twenty five multiply by eight together and the product is thousand and forty multiply by twenty five. And the product is thousand. Therefore, thousand multiplied by thousand, ten lakh. Therefore, answer is ten lakh. 
In question number 3, the distributive property of whole numbers will be used. That is, distributivity of multiplication over addition. Question number 3, find the value of the following. First question, 297 multiplied by 17 plus 297 multiplied by 3. Yesterday, I have discussed about distributive property. According to distributive property, we can write A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A, A into C. So, in this, here 297 is common. So, we can take it as common. 297 is outside and 17 plus 3. Here plus is there. 17 plus 3. 297 is outside. So, 17 plus 3 is 20. So, 297 multiplied by 20 is equal to 5940. So, by using the property, the calculation becomes easier. Question number C. 81,265 multiplied by 169 minus 81,265 multiplied by 69. By distributive property, we can take 81,265 outside because in both the tail, it is common. So, I put it outside and remaining is 169 minus 69. We know 169 minus 69 is 100. Therefore, 81,000 265 multiplied by 100. The answer is 81,26,500. Question number D. 3,845 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 782 plus 769 multiplied by 25 multiplied by 218. In this, there are 3 terms. 3 Three, num three wall numbers are there. So, here 25. We know 25 is 5 multiplied by 5. So, I split it into 5 multiplied by 5. And 769 multiplied by 5 is 3845. 3, now, here 3845 multiplied by 5. And here also 3845 multiplied by 5. In both the terms, the... 3845 multiplied by 5 is common. So, by distributive property, we can take the common numbers outside. 3845 multiplied by 5 from both the term. I took common and remaining number in bracket 782 plus 218, 218 in bracket. And 700 and in bracket we will calculate first. So, 782 plus 218 is equal to 1000. Multiply by 3845 and 5. Therefore, 3845 into 5 into 1000 is equal to 1 crore 92 like 25,000. In question number 4, it is given that find the product using suitable properties. So, we have to use the properties of whole numbers and find the product. Number 4, find the product using suitable properties. A, 738 multiplied by 103. This 103 we can write as 100 plus 3 to make the calculation more easier. And by distributive property, if A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. Therefore, we can write 738 multiplied by 100 plus 738 multiplied by 3 because 738 is common to 103. Therefore, 738 multiplied by 100 is 73,800 plus 738 multiplied by 3 is 2,200. 40. Therefore, answer is 76,014. Question number C. 258 multiplied by 1,008. 
This 1008 we can write it as 1000 plus 8. And 258 is common to 1008. So by distributive property we can write 258 multiplied by 1000 plus 258 multiplied by 8. Therefore 255 258 multiplied by 1000 is equal to 2 like 58,000 plus 258 multiplied by 8 is equal to 2064. Therefore, final answer is equal to 2 like 60,064. Question number D. 1005 multiplied by 168. In this 1005, we can write 1000 plus 5 multiplied by 168. And by distributive property, we can write 1000 multiplied by 168 plus 5 multiplied by 168. Because 168 is common to 1005. Therefore, 1000 multiplied by 168 is equal to 1 like 68,000 plus 5 multiplied by 168 is equal to 840. Therefore, 1 like 68,000 plus 840 is equal to 1 like 68,840. Today, I have explained few questions of exercise 2.2. Please practice it. Today's homework, NCRT textbook, chapter number 2, exercise 2.2. Question number 2, B and E. Question number 3, B. And question number 4, B. For more detailed videos and textbook, please log in into the links of Diksha and Extra Maths.